Terry here from Homestead How, and I am spending the day with an Amish tree cutting crew. And we, we're gonna cut down some pretty big trees in today's episode. So in today's episode, I tag along with an Amish tree cutting crew, and to be respectful, the Amish do not like to be photographed. You will not see any of their faces in this video. I also had some technical issues with my camera. It was so cold out, my GoPro kept freezing up. So I apologize for some of the footage, but I think we got a really good video for you in store today. So for the first job of the day, there was a big maple tree, and they used this slingshot looking tool to shoot a bag with a rope up to the top of the tree, and then they attach a larger rope to that. And then my buddy Nelson, very bravely climbed this rope straight up using some mountain climbing equipment. Now unfortunately, my camera froze up a few times my GoPro. I think I need a new one. You can actually see it freezing up right there. But you can see the ropes they attached to Nelson's shoes. And then there he is way up in the tree. And he's attaching the rope to two heavy branches on the tree just in case one of them fails. And then they're gonna pull the tree to the left away from the house as they cut it down. I was amazed at how fast this crew worked. I couldn't even get my next camera set up. Nelson was already up the tree and then down the tree. So way far behind this tree, there's a truck with a winch on it and it has tension on that rope that Nelson attached to the top of the tree. There's a notch cut on the other side of the tree and now he's doing his back cut and putting some wedges in. One thing I learned from Nelson was always have an escape route and some other advice he gave me when cutting down trees is never to get complacent. It's easy to kind of get into the swing of things and then not pay attention and that could be very dangerous. So I've never been near a tree being cut down that was this large. I'm used to cutting down pine trees. This thing was huge. It's going to go for a ton of firewood and maybe even some furniture and now it's safe because it was encroaching pretty closely on the house. Here's a quick shot of the winch they use. It's a little gas powered winch. Pretty cool little tool. So I just went with the crew to their first job. Huge, huge maple tree. I don't even know how I would cut that thing down myself. and. He climbed up in the tree, attached a rope, they hooked it up to, they have a driver that comes with them, to his truck, and they cut it down, and we were in and out of there in like 45 minutes, I could not believe it. And it was a scary looking one, it was right next to the house, but there was no issue for them, they are just in, in and out. Next up, we're at the Amish Bakery, and here in the background, real quick, you can see an ice house. We learned all about the ice house in one of our previous episodes, I'll leave a link in the description below. I was joking with Nelson, we want to be careful not to drop the tree on the ice house. So here's another huge tree they're taking down. They put a notch in the one side and now they're doing the back cut. And watch how he walks away from this tree. I was like, you're not done yet, it's not moving and it takes a couple seconds to fall. Um, but it definitely did fall down. chain got got dull again oh, and it dirt. started tipping. That's oh, that's actually, down. that was a hole that's filled with ice. You see that? Well, it is anyway. That is ice. And dirt. Ice and dirt. That's why it got dull. That, that's what did it. That made it more crooked, so that's why my cut didn't like it. So this is a really large crew. We just had two guys today and myself, but these guys are some professionals. And if you live in the Montello or Marquette County area and you need some tree work done, Leave a comment down below or reach out to me directly and I will put you in contact with them. I'd highly recommend them. Okay, has to get down in there. Goes around here. Three wraps, that's what pulls it. Oh, I see. That's kind of like a sailboat thing. You're not tying yeah. it on there, it just tightens down. Yep. So if 
I pull the rope, that'll pull this over. That speeds up the motor, which makes it work. Pace, you have the right tool for the job. Oh, yeah. God, that'd have been tough without that. We just got done cutting down a tree at the bakery and they paid with donuts. I think that was just the down payment, they were joking. I don't understand Pennsylvania Dutch, but I heard a bunch of negotiations and then I heard the word donuts. I kind of figured out what was happening, so that was pretty funny. So I hope you enjoyed that quick video. Unfortunately, my camera froze up on me and I lost a good deal of the footage, but those were some of the shots that made it through. If you like this video, be sure to subscribe. Check the link in the description below for our Amish ice harvesting video. And we've got a lot more of these coming up, including our Pioneer Log Cabin build that I'm starting very soon.